Hey everyone, it's Thea and this is going to be my June TBR. So filming a video right now feels very strange. Um, and I had a whole different TBR planned, but I realized that I am part of the problem. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't read a lot of own voices um, and books that are by minorities and people of color and specifically black authors. I don't read enough and I, I could be doing more. I could be reading for more. I could be recommending more novels and going through social media over the last few days, I realized that I don't have a lot of books that I've read that I could recommend um, and I wanna change that. And um, yeah, it's probably a little late to make the decision, but I am trying to be upfront and honest with everybody that I am not doing as much as I could. So um, I'm changing my TPR. I am limited in what I'm working with. I'm just working off what I have in the shelves on my shelves because um, my library is still pretty much closed down for the most part. Um, and uh, the bookstores still aren't quite open. So I can't go out and buy the books that I would like to buy in order to support minority authors and um, black authors. But I do have two books um, on my shelf that are actually on my TBR that I have not read yet that are by black authors that I'm going to pick up in June. The first one being On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. I've had this book on my shelf for ever since it came out, honestly. Um, I read The Hate You Give a few years ago and I really, did really enjoy it. It made me cry so much. Um, and honestly, I haven't picked this up yet and I don't really have an excuse as to why I haven't. Um, but I am really excited to get to this. I obviously have been wanting to read it for quite a while since I've had it on my shelf for more than a year. Um, it's just, I don't know why I haven't made the effort to pick it up, but I am gonna change that. I'm gonna pick it up in June, I'm gonna read it. I am very excited to read it. If you don't know what it's about and you haven't managed, I'll tell you guys what it's about really quick here. 16 year old Brie wants to be one of the greatest rappers of all time, or at least win her first battle. As the daughter of an underground hip hop legend who died right before he hit big, Brie's got massive shoes to fill, but it's hard to get you, but it's hard to get your come up when you're labeled a hoodlum at school and your, but it's hard to get your come up when you're labeled a hoodlum at school and your fridge is home at home is empty after your mom loses, after your mom loses her job. So Brie pours her anger and frustration into her first song, which goes viral for all the wrong reasons. But Brie soon finds herself at the center of a controversy portrayed by the media as more menace than MC. But with an eviction notice staring her family down, Brie doesn't just want to make it, she has to, even if it means becoming the very thing the public has made her out to be. Insightful, unflinching, and full of heart, On the Cup Up is an ode to hip hop from one of the most influential literary voices of a generation. It is a story of fighting for your dreams, even as the odds are stacked against you, and about how, especially for young black people, freedom of speech isn't always free. And I think it's gonna be a very powerful read. I'm very excited to pick it up, fully love it. And the second book that I'm going to read that is by a black author is Children of Blood and Bone by Tony, by Tony Amy Adeyemi. Um, I don't remember the details of this book and I don't have a dust jacket to read from, um, but I've heard great things about it and I'm very, very excited to pick this up for June. And then I have two other books on my TBR. The first one is The Knockout Queen by Rufy Thorpe. I just recently got this for Book of the Month last month. Um, and as June is also Pride Month, I wanna pick up a queer novel, a queer lit, queer lit novel. So I'm gonna pick this up because I haven't read it yet. I'm very excited. Um, and it says a dazzling and darkly comic novel of love, violence, and friendship in the California suburbs. Bunny Lambert is a is the princess of North Shore, beautiful, tall, blonde, with a rich real estate developer father and a swimming pool in her backyard. Michael, who has a ponytail down his back and a septum piercing, lives with his aunt in the cramped stucco cottage next door. When Michael is caught smoking in Bunny's side yard, he discovers her life is not as perfect as it seems. At six foot three, Bunny towers over their classmates. Even as she dreams of standing out and competing in the Olympics, she is desperate to fit in, to seem normal, and to get a boyfriend, all while hiding her father's escalating alcoholism. 
Michael has secrets of his own at home and at school. Michael pretends to be straight, but at night he tries to understand himself by meeting men online for anonymous encounters that both thrill and scare him. When Michael falls in love for the first time, a vicious strain of gossip circulates and a brutal act becomes the defining features of both his and Bunny's futures and of their friendship. With storytelling as intoxicating as it is intelligent, Rufus Thorpe has created a tragic and unflinching por portrait of identity, a fascinating examination of our struggles to exist in our bodies, and an excruciatingly beautiful story of two humans aching for a connection. I am very excited to read this. It's also not very long. It's, uh, it's also not very long. It's like 270 pages or so. Um, and I, I've heard pretty early good buzz about this, so I'm excited to give this a read. Next, and, I'll, and the last book on my June TBR is The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chosky. This is our July book for my book club. Um, I have had this on my shelves actually for about a year as well. I picked this up the same month I got on the come up and I have not read it yet. I'm very excited. I know it takes place in Paris. It's like 1889. Um, it's kind of, I've heard it's like a heist book involving a multitude of uh, main characters. Uh, I don't know too much more about it than that. It just says here, uh, from best-selling author Roshani Chosky comes a novel set in Paris during the time of extraordinary change one that is full of mystery, decadence, and dangerous desires. It's 1889. The city is on the cusp of industry and power, and the exposition Universelle has breathed new life into the streets and dredged up ancient secrets. Here, no one keeps tabs on dark truth better than Treasure Hunter. When the elite, ever-powerful Order of Babel coerces him to help them on a mission, Severin is offered a treasure that he never imagined, his true inheritance. To hunt down the ancient artifact the Order seeks, Severin calls upon a band of unlikely experts, an engineer with a debt to pay, a historian banished from his home, a dancer with a sinister past, and a brother in arms, if not blood. Together they will join Severin as he explores the dark, glittering heart of Paris. What they find might change the course of history, but only if they can stay alive. So I'm very excited to read this. I've heard really good things about it. Um, I know people really, really enjoy this. Um, I've heard Roshani, I've heard um, Roshani Chosky's writing is beautiful, so I'm very excited to read this. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with where my TBR is gonna go for June. I might add one more book depending on what happens in the month. Um, but let me know down in the comments below if you've read any of these, any thoughts, comments, and opinions about them. Um, if you have any thoughts or comments about anything else that you guys would like to talk about, definitely let's chat it up in the comments. Um, and if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe to get notified of when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading. I'll see you guys next time.